Welcome back everybody. It's lunchtime. We're making some grilled cheese sandwiches, some with bacon. And we're gonna try those mango habanero chips and pickles with these. Let's see, I turned this burner on too, didn't I? Yeah. It's a pretty one today, y'all. Not a cloud in the sky. Okay y'all, it's a little while later. Coming out here to check the garden, see if there's anything I need to pick. Those chips and pickles are different. I liked them, like at first I was like, no. But then after I ate a couple more of the chips, I was like, hmm, I don't know. It's kind of like a, it's almost like a sweet, spicy barbecue chip. That's what they reminded me of. The pickles too, they were a little spicy. I started liking them after I kept eating. Why did I keep eating them when I was like, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> But I started liking them. Sissy liked the chips, but didn't like the pickles. Nobody else liked either one of them. Titus was here for lunch. He didn't like either one of them either. So, you know, you can taste the mango in the chips for sure. So here's a little tomato update. I ended up taking off some of the bigger green tomatoes because they were just not ripening on the vine. And I read, I Googled like, what's the deal? It's, it had been like, I can't even remember how many days, but over the time that, you know, most of the time they start turning red on the vine. And it said that picking some of the big ones may help the other ones to, you know, ripen faster once they get to where they need to be. So that's what I did. And one of the ones inside is already turning red now. So we'll see. I have like, just at a quick glance, 5, 10, 15, 20, 45 or 50 tomatoes still out here and I think I picked four yesterday so anyway we've got a lot of tomatoes and we do have okra coming up over there it's about this long I'll show y'all in a minute so far peppers zucchini and tomatoes are doing the best even though the tomatoes are you know taking a little while to turn red like I said when those in, that I took inside are already one of them especially is already starting to turn red but peppers zucchini and tomatoes are definitely doing the best. We are getting some green beans. We were getting a lot there for a while, but not as many anymore. Miss Turkey, y'all, she is getting herself filthy right there. Dirt bath. I don't see her do them as often as the chickens do, but she's doing one today. <laughs> she looks rough after her dirt bath, so because she's white and she gets very dirty. Roosty and some of the girls are over here. All the rest of them are up there behind the pen. This turkey's loud when she takes her dirt bath. I need to put this rake back up. Some of y'all were asking if we knew if any of the Easter eggers were roosters or not. We got them several weeks ago now. They were, um, we didn't know if they were male or female. And of course, you know, the person that we bought them from didn't know if they were male or female. We were hoping for all girls. Some of them look different. Like some of them have, you know, different features that, you know, makes me think that they could be roosters. But I think we're past the time that they should be crowing or something. <laughs> letting us know that they're roosters and we're not seeing any of that so i'm thinking and hoping we have all girls here we'll be getting a lot of eggs come september they're all right in there we didn't know about the ducks either so we could have some duck eggs i don't know the guineas are girls we should have some guinea eggs but they're little i think they're like that big or something i don't know when ducks start laying the easter eggers take several weeks so it'll be september before they start laying any eggs the guineas not sure about them either and we have some chicks well chickens now they're not really chicks anymore we have some in there i'll try to get over here so i can show them to y'all i'm wearing my flip-flops so i'm watching for snakes from time to time not very often but from time to time we do see some snakes there's a black one right there that one i mean yeah there there she is they're not easter eggers they are um i can never remember their name i'll pop it up here on the screen but they're supposed to lay extra large brown eggs but right now we're still just getting eggs from the isa browns they are constant layers they're like the best that's why i wanted to get more isa browns this past spring but we couldn't find any that's a guinea mm -hmm. oh miss turkey's done with her dirt bath look at her isn't she looking wonderful <laughs> these girls here are the ones that we're getting eggs from here comes the master pumpkin planter. I'll have to sell pumpkins in Gatlinburg. Yeah, yeah, we'll set up all a right. pumpkin stand too with our little blackstone. That's all I can do. I planted two of them. I'm gonna have a whole truckload of pumpkins. <laughs> garden's so big, you have to really. You might get lost in there. Yeah, you gotta be careful in this garden. See that? That is okra. 
Right there it is, everybody. Right yep. Give it two weeks. Okay, y'all. Tyler just pulled up. We think that he possibly got his braces off. He just had his orthodontist appointment this afternoon. They said he could be getting them off this time. We're gonna see. Did they take them off? No. Are you serious? Let me see. You're joking. Aw, oh, man. Before I forget, I have to give y'all an update on these Big Lots candles. So if y'all missed that video where we went and looked around Big Lots, I'll link it down below. I ended up getting two of these candles. I said in the video I was afraid to get more than one because I never, ever, I don't think I've ever gotten a candle from Big Lots that had a good throw. That means that you can smell it. Like when you burn it, you can smell it. Some candles, you know, when you smell of them, when they're, they haven't been lit, you're like, oh, this smells really good. But then when you burn it, there's no scent. It smells like nothing. This is not the case right here. <laughs> these candles, these are as good as Bath and Body Works candles, y'all. And it's very surprising. I think it was $6.99. Did I leave the tag? Probably, because I always leave tags. Oh yeah, there it is, $6.99. Now, I haven't tried the other one yet, but it is the same type of candle. So I'm assuming that it's gonna be just as good. I will let y'all know when I burn it. It's a pumpkin one, so I'm holding off on that for a little while, but. <laughs> I have pumpkin pie. You like pumpkin pie? What about maple praline pie? You think you would like that? Yeah. Make sure you get this kind if you do decide to try them because the other Big Lots candles, I'm telling you, nothing. They're just nothing. <laughs> they smell of nothing when they burn, but these I'm excited about. Only $6.99 and I promise it is just as good as a Bath and Body Works or a Goose Creek candle. Let's see if this one says, okay, this one says, you are the pumpkin of my pie. Doesn't have anything on the bottom. Okay, it says autumn air right here. I wonder if the other one says autumn air. We need to check that. Do you say autumn air? Yes, it says autumn air. So look on the bottom, make sure they say autumn air. But y'all, if those other ones say autumn air, I would skip those. Just make sure you go and look at that video. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna go back and get some more of those. And hopefully they'll have some Christmas ones at Christmas time. These would make great gifts, they smell wonderful. <laughs> power went out for a few seconds came right back on hopefully it won't go out again I was about to start cooking supper I already got everything out over here anyway welcome to the next day uh, hopefully the storm will pass over in a minute and I can go ahead and start cooking supper I wanted to cook the chicken on the blackstone that's definitely not happening right now with those winds out there I'm gonna give it about 20 minutes because I'd really like to cook the chicken on the Blackstone. If it's still windy out there, then I'll just go ahead and start cooking it in here. We're making a chicken Alfredo tonight, but we're using bow tie pasta instead of fettuccine or anything. I told y'all a long time ago that I was the only one who really liked Alfredo sauce. Well, Titus is the one who requested this chicken Alfredo. The kids don't remember it, so we're gonna try it tonight. We had a turkey egg. I'm washing these eggs because I'm out of already washed ones in the refrigerator. And whenever I'm cooking, I like to have some already washed up and ready to go. That way I can just grab them. And don't have to worry about washing them when I'm in the middle of cooking. make some homemade marinara sauce with some garlic bread. I wanted to do garlic bread sticks, but I actually forgot about it until it was too late to start any homemade ones. So Tyler went to the store for me and I told him to see if he could find any bread sticks. He said he couldn't find any 
fresh ones. I should have told him to look in the freezer because I know they have some in the freezer. But I told him just to look on the bread aisle and in the bakery section. He couldn't find any so he just got some Italian bread. That's fine. We'll just make garlic toast with this. Dip it in the marinara sauce. The storm has moved on enough that we can go ahead and start cooking now. I am going to be able to do it on the Blackstone. The wind is just barely going out there. The first thing I'm going to do is start the marinara sauce because it needs to sit over here and simmer for at least 30 minutes. I put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pot. Now I'm going to get some garlic. I love garlic. Sissy's going to peel it for me and then we'll... Peel it? No, not peel. <laughs> peel. Peel. garlic going in the pot. So we'll just let that cook for about a minute and we'll go ahead and open this tomato paste and this can of crushed tomatoes. All right, we put in the whole can. I think it's 20, 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes and we're gonna put in half a can of tomato paste. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back up to a little over medium. We'll go ahead and put in a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. If my tomatoes were red, I would have used our garden tomatoes, but they are taking forever. Now we put a little bit of sugar in our marinara. You can skip this. We do it in homemade pasta sauce too. It just kind of takes that bite out of those tomatoes. That's Tyler. No one fear. <laughs> Sounds like the big bad wolf trying to break in. Not by the hair. Oh, my chinny chin chin. I just splashed marinara everywhere. Well, almost marinara. He went to pick some basil for me out of the garden real quick. Here's the tomato paste. Y'all, I am making a mess with this sauce. Okay, stir that all together. I'm gonna put in some oregano, parsley. Okay, and I'm just gonna drop my basil leaves down in here. Just about three of them. Sissy's dropping those in for me and we'll just bring this up to a simmer. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start the Alfredo sauce back here. I have some butter. I'm chopping up some more garlic. I forgot I needed garlic for this. I would've went ahead and got it all ready at one time. While I'm waiting on this to melt, I'm gonna go ahead and start the chicken on the Blackstone. Okay, back in here, garlic going in. We're just gonna stay right here and stir it so it doesn't burn. You smell pizza? That's that garlic. Okay, we're putting in one cup of chicken broth, a quarter cup of milk, and half a cup of heavy cream. Here's the heavy cream and milk. Now we're just gonna bring this to a simmer. I've got it a little over medium. Okay, it's starting to thicken up around the sides. We're gonna go ahead and add in the Parmesan cheese now. I removed it from the heat. We're gonna put in one cup of grated Parmesan. We'll see if we need to add any more. Once we get that one cup mixed in, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Okay, I'm gonna turn this down to very low back here. I think that's gonna be enough of the Parmesan cheese. We're gonna put it back on very, very low, and I'll go ahead and toast the Italian bread on the Blackstone. And then if we need to, we can add a little more broth if this gets too thick, or add a little more Parmesan cheese if it's not thick enough. And normally, you would add this to the pasta, but like I said, I don't know if everybody's gonna like it, so we're just gonna do it you know, we'll let them taste it and see if they want it before they put it on their pasta. The homemade is better than the jarred for sure with Alfredo sauce. Mmm, really good. 